Party Porcupine! Shalabais! It's party time! And I will show you how to make a party porcupine. What? A party porcupine? Watch and learn. You're gonna... like it. But first, let's make a work drawing. Close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. Imagine a box that looks like a porcupine. We'll need a face on the front of the box and a snout that sticks out. A line to separate the spiky back from the rest of the body. Four legs, a tongue and lots of spikes. First, we move the drawing onto the box one side at a time. Let's start with the eyes. Out from the eyes, draw a line that continues around to the other side. That'll be the long snout. Then the pupils. Under the snout, draw a round mouth. Then add a circle at the tip of the snout. The next line goes around the face and down the body, separating the spiky back from the rest of the body, which is non-spiky. Then thicken up the snout a bit. Yeah, good! Now we are ready to go over the lines with a thick marker pen. They become strong and clear and easy to follow when painting. Just remember to use a waterproof marker pen so that the lines don't dissolve when you paint. Cut! And then it's time to cut out the parts. With the help from a grown-up, cut out an opening for the mouth and remove the card. Next, cut around the snout and fold it out. Look, here's the nose, which is nice and flexible. Now cut the toilet roll cylinder in four equal parts and glue them to the underside of the porcupine. First, get a toilet roll and cut it into four equal parts. You'll end up with four cute little legs like this. Then you need to dip them into a container with glue and make sure the ends are well covered. Only then will they stick properly to the porcupine. Put two up here. And two down here. Now leave them to dry for an hour before painting. Luckily, I have one that I made earlier, so we can start painting right away. Still can't see the party in the porky there. Patience, Box, patience. Paint! I start with white because it looks so nice and bright against the brown box. First, mix up a light yellow base color and paint it over the whole back of the porcupine where the spikes go. I use water based acrylics which are strong and waterproof when dry. That way I can paint over with other colors. 
Also, the paint soaks into the cardboard, making it stronger. Now, use some white paint for the eyes. Just look at the great contrast between the white and the cardboard brown. Then continue with some orange spots all over the yellow base color. I'll swap this wet porcupine with a dry one so we can continue to paint on it right away. See how my spots lets loads of the yellow shine through. This gives us a rich texture. Next, add some more spots using an even stronger reddish orange. The whole time letting plenty of yellow and orange shine through. Then, to give the texture some extra pizzazz, finish off with some black spots. Get your black paint and mix some water into it, making it transparent. This will bring out the contrast between the orange, white and brown. Next, thin down some white paint the same way. Use this see-through paint to lighten up the brown cardboard color. Shaped piece of cardboard and paint it red with a little line down the middle. Make a small fold, add some glue and stick it into the mouth. Let's chuck that one away and bring in a fully finished one. I'll explain the little holes in the middle. See how I've also painted the little legs. And some wrinkles along the snout. Check it out! Cool, huh? Shall we see it again? Draw the porcupine on all sides of the box with a pencil. Then go over with a marker pen. Then cut out the mouth and nose. Next, make four legs and glue them on. Continue by painting with several layers of paint, creating texture and a party look. Finally, glue on the tongue. You can also turn your porcupine into a party buffet. Find something soft, like an old sweater, and stuff it into the porcupine. Then poke holes all over the back and stick in a load of colorful lollipops until it's full. Yoo-hoo! It's party time! Now I understand what a party porcupine is. Ha-ha! <laughs> Sweet! Box, help me out here. Got any more ideas? Here are today's ideas. You can make some other party gear, like this popcorn penguin. Or this muffin monster. Or this fantastic fruit frog. Yeah. 
sorted. Easy. There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. Uh, which one do I want? Ow! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my uh, video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe so that you won't miss hundreds of epi other episodes and uh, future episodes and other episodes that is coming quite soon.